My name is Susan. I was diagnosed with AERD at least 20 years ago. My symptoms started somewhat gradually where I was now suddenly finding myself unable to take medication that had not been a problem before. I would get very congested. I would have wheezing. Um, I would feel like I was having an allergic reaction. AERD is a combination of adult onset asthma, severe chronic sinus disease with inflammation and polyps, and a acquired sensitivity to medications in the aspirin family. It affects 1.7 million people in the United States uh, based on approximations. And it's a chronic disease, it's very recalcitrant, it's difficult to treat. With AERD over time, most people lose their sense of smell and I definitely lost most of my sense of smell. And of course, when your nose is really congested and full of polyps, you can't sleep very well. It's hard to breathe while you're exercising. And you just have this general sense of pressure and fullness in your face all the time. And it is not comfortable. Susan came to us, unfortunately, very typical of AERD patients, really have a lot of issues uh, with sense of smell, a lot of their symptoms are, are poorly controlled, and often they're just frustrated without any long-term uh, relief of their symptoms. I had been to a lot of ear, nose, and throat doctors and allergists, and I had a lot of different treatments, and I had sinus surgery where they removed the polyps and kind of cleaned out the sinuses, and that would work for a little bit. So it really was not a very long-term solution. Most of them would say, well, what you really need is aspirin desensitization, but I don't know how to do that. So I started looking around for where those specialists were. Um, that's how I ended up at Penn. AERD can have a very fast recurrence of nasal polyps if not treated appropriately. So it really is important for us for uh, this population of patients, which again, is much larger than a lot of people realize, to get adequate treatment. The first treatment after you make the diagnosis is a surgical procedure. With an endoscope, which is essentially a camera we're looking in the nose, we open up all the sinuses, including the maxillary, ethmoid, sphenoid, and frontal sinuses. And you really have to clean every aspect of that sinus cavity out. These patients can have the disease come roaring back without that extensive clean out. So after we finish up surgery, we'll get Susan home, get her some rest, and then over the next month or so, we're really gonna watch things healing up, and then we'll get her set to our aspirin desensitization. Hopefully she does great after that. Today, we're going to be doing uh, aspirin desensitization. A little bit of clear mucus in there. I don't see a dramatic increase in the congestion, maybe slight. Okay, so we, we, will, we will continue the protocol then. So the idea is that slowly over the next two days, I will be able to tolerate these medications that I have not been able to tolerate for 20 years. What I'm most excited about this procedure is the prospect that in the long run, I may not have to have recurrent sinus surgery again and again for the rest of my life. I'm a little nervous because I haven't taken these things for a good reason for a long time, but this is literally the safest way you could do this. Patients are often fearful of the idea of reintroducing aspirin after they've had a serious reaction to it or an NSAID. The reactions that occur when they're getting desensitized, if there are any reactions at all, um, are basically not anywhere near what happened when they took the full dose all at once. So it's a real gentle, gradual, safe process that's done in a monitored setting. There was a point at which I had a little bit of a reaction, which I hardly noticed, but they addressed it right away, and then we were able to move on. My goals were to be able to breathe better and to not feel congested all the time, and I also wanted to not have to have this surgery again. And because of Dr. Basso and Dr. Adapa, I'm able to breathe really well, to sleep really well. I can taste food and smell things, and I don't feel congested anymore. So I'm really thankful that I was able to work with them.